Well, hey, everybody, I cannot believe it, but I'm going live inside of our basketry community. And uh, welcome. So glad that, that you're here, that you could join me for this. And uh, it seems like it's been forever for me <laughs> to jump in here and uh, connect with you guys. But I wanted to do that, uh, especially this time of year. I don't know about you, but this time of year, I really, really, really get the bug for uh, wanting to create and wanting to uh, just be in the studio and, and doing creative things. And especially those of us that, that love natural materials and uh, being out in the woods and harvesting things during this time of year and that sort of thing. So be sure to come on, uh, introduce yourself, let us know who you are, where you're from, what you do uh, creatively in this, in this world. And uh, we're going to have a good time today. Listen, I wanted to uh, take a little bit of time and just uh, kind of reconnect uh, with everybody. Just a little bit of a backstory. Most of y'all know I've been creating baskets for uh, and woven sculpture. Now it's going on 30 years. I can't believe it. I'm, I just turned 48 and I started making my first baskets when I was 18, 19 years old. So it's getting close around that, <laughs> around that time frame and uh, did a lot of that, you know, in my life as um, a hobbyist, you know, for about really about 13 years in Atlanta um, after Tanya and I graduated, got married, graduated from University of Georgia and all that. And um, then it wasn't until 2009 that I really started, um, you know, focusing on my basketry professionally. And for the last 10, 11, 12 years, I uh, have just been really, really blessed to have a, a thriving business here in Asheville, creating woven sculpture for luxury homes and, um, you know, all of that. Most of you, that's kind of how you came to know me, either taking classes or buying my work or, or things like that. And uh, it's been a incredible, incredible journey. Um, many of you don't know, and I'll just kind of say this by way of caveat, um, I've kind of had this other parallel life going on as well. We've had um, in 2009, I started writing my first book called Unlocking the Heart of the Artist. Um, I now have seven books that are out, and um, that really started this real passion of mine to help bring artists together who wanted to really combine in a holistic perspective their art, their business, and their faith, all from a faith-based perspective. And so um, many of you know I was in ministry for a long time, and that just that's just part of my journey. And so that really took off. And um, in 2017, I started a mentoring program that I thought was going to get me off the road from traveling and speaking as much. But in, in hindsight, it actually really changed the trajectory of what we were doing. And um, uh, now we've got almost 2,000 members inside of our Created to Thrive Artist Mentoring Program. And it's been, you know, continues to be this phenomenal thing that's blown up much, much bigger than I thought um, it would ever be. And it's continuing to grow, which is, which is incredible. The question has always been in the middle of that, Matt, where are your baskets? And, <laughs> and so about a year and a half ago, two years ago now, I mean, COVID, how many of you have COVID brain, right? It's like, oh, I don't know what's going on, you know, COVID brain. But um, COVID brain really caused me to kind of be able to, um, I don't know, just kind of sit back and reassess where we were and where my baskets were and that sort of thing. And I realized that that other business was growing um, so much larger than I ever expected. And we had a choice to make. And I had a dream two years ago that I was going to be leaving the studio. And um, God speaks to me through dreams a lot. And so I I knew that that was going to be a part of our, our journey. And so last year during COVID, in the I think it was in July, we actually closed down my gallery and studio in Asheville, which was, a, as you can imagine, like a huge, <laughs> huge um you know, step for me and um, a lot of emotion tied up in that. But God was so faithful and provided this studio that I'm in right now that is literally three minutes from my house. Uh, incredible studio space that I have. This is a 1,200 square foot studio um, out in the country in Fairview and um, a private studio at this point, not really open to the public that much, but um, gives me the ability to do all my live streaming and recording and and that sort of thing for our other, our membership group um, that I was describing. And then also to be in this part of the studio, which is, I'll just kind of show you here. This is um, kind of the big room where I can make and store all my materials and, um, and all that sort of thing. And so it's just, it's a really, really wonderful, um, you know, space to be able to do that in. But, you know, this, you know, once you're an artist, uh, you never stop being an artist. You have different iterations of your life and that sort of thing. And for me, uh, 
my baskets really for the last year and a half have kind of been on hold. When I, when I closed the, the gallery in, um, in the River Arts District, I took all the work that I had to Blue Spiral downtown, which is you know one of the premier galleries in the Southeast, and um, they wanted my work and started selling my work and that sort of thing. And um, it just all sold out so quickly. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And in January, we took in 800 new members, 800 new members um, in our mentoring program during our big membership opening. And I was just like, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. And so I, I let everybody know, you may have gotten an email from me that said, I got to take a breath. I got to take a pause. And this year really for me has been about, you know, just starting to ask the question, where is my basketry? And um, I've been painting a lot more. You can see I've been doing paintings. I've actually been creating these niched boxes. Um, this is like two feet by four feet, cold wax painting. And um, y'all know what cold wax is. It's uh, actually wax and oil. See the texture in that, in that something? But I'm creating these paintings but putting niches in them and putting my baskets in them and um you know just doing some some different kind of work just for my own expression and that sort of thing but people have been asking me and especially this time of year matt are you gonna teach are you ever gonna teach again and what are you doing and what's going on and ah! and so my wife and i just been praying about it you know just like okay what does this mean for us for the next step and that sort of thing and i thought you know what I'm always, one of the more of my prayers is, you know, what is the season that I'm in and where do I have the grace in my life to be able to, you know, to do things. And all the commissioned work that I've done over the years, um, I mean, that's been very, very lucrative and very successful and creatively energizing and, and all that sort of thing. But this has just not been the season for that. And it's not been the season for me creatively, but I've really had a passion in me begin to rise up again to teach and uh, to really share all that I've been doing all these years uh, in a way that we can really reach people with uh, who, who love baskets and who love, you know, the ability to walk in the woods by their house or harvest something out of their yard and just say, I need some information about how I can begin to, to do that sort of thing. What do I do with all these daylily fronds or what do I do with this willow that's growing out beside my house? Or I've got all this kudzu or grapevine or honeysuckle or bittersweet around me. What do I do with that? Could I make something out of that? <laughs> and, and, you know, I've done classes over the years, um, you know, here in Asheville, and people have loved that. We've had people come internationally from all over the country. Uh, you know, my classes, if you've ever taken one, you know, uh, it's not like a marketing thing I'm doing. <laughs> my classes would fill up for the whole year in one day. They would like, I would put them out, put it out to the email list and literally in one day, like six or seven classes that I do during the year, they would all fill up in less than 24 hours. And so I always get these questions from people, Matt, I want to come take a class. I want to learn from you, but I, my finger wasn't fast enough or I wasn't able to come to Asheville or, you know, whatever like that. What do I do? And, uh, is there a way to learn? Are you going to write a book? Are you going to do some online things? And so we have amassed in this other mentoring program that I've, I've done, I have an incredible team now of people who are um, in media, who are, have enabled me to record now hundreds of videos that we do in our, in our mentoring program on, on business and marketing and, and spiritual life and all that sort of thing. But I thought, you know what? We've got this incredible know-how and engine. Why not put that to work for my baskets? And so we're going to start. Uh, recording, uh, maybe late this year, if not first of next year, we're going to start recording um, some lessons here in the studio of me walking you through soup to nuts, what it takes to do things like freeform twining with kudzu, how to harvest bark and, and begin to use that. How do you prepare and harvest natural materials? What about using bark and wire? What about random weaving? What Just all the things that I've done over the years, we're going to start putting those into lessons that you can download, that you can uh, purchase for yourself. And um, we're even, you know, I'm not promising this, but we've thought about uh, a membership community just like uh, we have on the, on the other side. It's been super, super valuable where people that are serious about their journey, even as hobbyists, but even people that may think, hey, I want to, I want to start maybe selling some of my work and how do I do that? We've even thought about that possibility, and um, I'm taking it slow. 
I want to see what the desire is. I know that there are um, thousands and thousands and thousands of people around the world that uh, want to know how to do what I've done all these years in basketry with, with natural materials. And I know that we have the ability now through media to be able to, um, to get that information out there and to, through things like this Facebook group, you know, create community around this topic and really uh, help you go further, faster in your journey uh, as a maker, as a hobbyist, as somebody that just loves to do, you know, what we do. So here's the thing that I need from you because um, I've, I've learned over the years, it's really, really easy to answer questions that nobody's asking <laughs> and spend a whole lot of time making, you know, making this, this great course you think is so great, you know, and uh, only to realize that, um, you know, it's not what people are looking for. And so as we kind of start out on this journey, I wanted you guys to be the first to know um, about this since you've been with me so long. And I wanted you to um, be the ones who give me input on what we're going to begin to develop as we, um, as we start out on this journey. So I'm going to ask you to do this right below uh, this video in the comments. If you would let me know, what are the things that you'd love to see me teach on? Um, is it, you know, twining? Is it um, using encaustic wax like I've done? You know, I've, a big part of my journey has been taking twined baskets and doing encaustic wax surface design, even the preservation of these baskets in with encaustic. Do you want to know how to how to twine or, you know, do twill work? Or do you want to, you know, f edges, different bases, how to prepare the material, weaving with wire? I mean, what is it that, you, that you're looking for in line with what you know that I've done over the years um, artistically? I'd love to know because that would give me the ability to kind of focus our efforts and start producing um, courses and, and content that really, really work um, for you. So... If you would do that and you'd be a part of this journey, that would be a huge blessing to me. That way we know that we're creating things that would uh, really enable you um, to do what you want to do uh, as an artist and as um, somebody that is, you know, wanting to learn how to uh, take your basketry uh, lesson, you know, to, um, you know, hobbies to the next level. And, and even, even if you're interested in the marketing side of things, you know, how I've done that over the years. I mean, my, my baskets went from, making kind of grandma's rib baskets, you know, for a lot of years and selling them for 25 and $30 to, you know, as of late doing up to 14 foot wall sculptures for over, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and for uh, hotel spaces and commercial spaces and, and luxury homes and that sort of thing. So I've run the gamut of, of all of that. And I'm in a stage in my life and in my career where I want to share uh, so that other people can experience that real breakthrough in their journey artistically as well. And so um, we want to make that a part of, uh, of what I'm doing right now in my life. So anyway, I'm inviting you into the journey, I guess. I'm inviting you into a conversation. And um, I just wanted to do that uh, in as personable a way as I could um, with this video. Um, also, I want to encourage you, if you know other makers, uh, other basket people that are like, you know, maybe they've taken a class from me or they're interested in this kind of thing, or uh, maybe they're making as a hobbyist right now. They just don't have a place to connect. Invite them to be a part of this Facebook group and uh, so that we can continue the journey. And um, as you ask questions and share your work, uh, this can become a really valuable place for all of us who love uh, natural materials. And uh, we can answer questions for each other. We can uh, encourage one another, that sort of thing. And, um, and I'm glad to to hop in and, and continue to facilitate that as even as we're preparing uh, formal courses and that sort of thing. So anyway, just uh, wanted to say, love you guys. Thanks for hanging with me through <laughs> this, this journey of ups and downs that everybody is on. It, uh, you know, our life takes twists and turns and, uh, and that sort of thing. And, um, but I wanted just, uh, you know, to, to be able to bring you into that. Thank you for those of you even live that are already, um, you know, answering those questions now. And um, if you think of any more, put them on there. And that's going to be a big, big part of um, how we start out and what we start um, producing for you. So, hey, love you guys. Have a great weekend. If you're Georgia Bulldog fans, I hope you are. Cheer for the Georgia Bulldogs. If not, don't tell me about it. <laughs> 
I think we're going to win the national championship this year. I know artists are not supposed to be sports people, but that's, the, you know, being a UGA graduate, I'm, I'm all passionate about that. And our Atlanta Braves won too. It's like, come on. So anyway, have a great rest of your weekend and um, I will see you inside this group. And again, thanks for jumping on with me um, live. It's uh, it's great to reconnect. All right. Bye.